Imagine seeing a woman whispering to freedom and punching babies to stop them from crying and stop them from getting caught. Stories of Harriet Tubman's daring escapes on the Underground Railroad captivate us. Among these, a particularly stark tale emerges. A woman whispering to freedom as she leads her charges through the dark. Rumors have swirled that she went to extreme lengths to ensure silence, even, as some believed, knocking out babies to keep their cries from revealing their hiding spots. But let's set the record straight. While this image captures the desperate measures some thought necessary for the perilous journey to freedom, there's no evidence that Tubman ever harmed those she was guiding. Welcome, fellow time travelers, to a journey through the annals of history, where heroes are forged and legends are born. This is BC, bringing history to life. The Crucible of Oppression, Harriet Tubman's Early Years in Slavery Harriet Tubman, a name etched in the annals of American history, was not merely a figure, but an embodiment of courage, resilience, and unwavering determination. Born around 1820 on a plantation in Dorchester County, Maryland, to parents Ritt and Benjamin Ross, she was given the name Araminta Ross, affectionately known as Minty by her loved ones. Her early years were marred by the harsh realities of slavery. Ritt toiled as a cook in the plantation's big house, while Benjamin worked as a timber worker. It was within this crucible of oppression that Minty's spirit was forged, and her resolve to break free from the shackles of bondage took root. Breaking the Chains – Harriet Tubman's Escape from Bondage Despite the glimmer of hope sparked by her father's emancipation in 1840, Harriet Tubman's path to freedom remained obstructed by the cruel whims of fate. The promise of liberty, bestowed upon her family by the last will of Ritt's owner, proved to be nothing more than a hollow gesture as Ritt's new master callously disregarded the legal document, condemning the family to continued servitude. In 1844, Harriet took a pivotal step toward liberation by marrying John Tubman, a free black man, and assuming his surname as her own. However, her marriage brought little solace marred by hardships and discontent. The impending sale of her beloved brothers, Ben and Henry, catalyzed Harriet's resolve to break the chains of oppression once and for all. Harriet Tubman, leading the way on the Underground Railroad. In the crisp September air of 1849, Harriet Tubman embarked on a daring journey to freedom alongside her brothers, Ben and Henry. Yet, as fate would have it, their paths diverged when the brothers, gripped by uncertainty, chose to return to the plantation. Undeterred, Harriet pressed on, guided by the flickering beacon of hope offered by the Underground Railroad. Throughout a grueling 90-mile trek, she traversed the treacherous terrain to Pennsylvania, where the promise of liberty awaited. Settling in Philadelphia, Harriet found solace in her newfound freedom, yet her heart remained tethered to those left behind. Determined to extend the hand of liberation to her loved ones and friends, she embarked on a series of daring missions back into the heart of the South. With unwavering resolve, Harriet navigated the labyrinth of danger and uncertainty, guiding her niece and her children to safety in Philadelphia. Her attempts to bring her husband, John North, were met with heartbreak as he chose to remain in Maryland with his new wife. When tales of Harriet Tubman's daring exploits on the Underground Railroad circulated, one particularly stark narrative caught the public's imagination. It was said that to ensure the silence of infants, which was crucial to avoid detection by slave catchers, Tubman had to knock out babies. Initially, this phrase conjured shocking images of physical action, leading some to believe she might have resorted to drastic measures to keep these children quiet. However, as a more nuanced understanding of her methods emerged, it became clear that Tubman, known for her ingenuity and compassion, utilized safer means. She likely used natural remedies, common in 19th century medical practices, to gently soothe or sedate crying infants during these perilous journeys. The passage of the 1850 Fugitive Slave Act cast a shadow of fear and uncertainty over the North, threatening to extinguish the flickering flames of freedom. Undeterred, Harriet's resolve only strengthened. Armed with courage and conviction, she led enslaved individuals further north to Canada, braving the perils of the journey under the cover of nightfall. With each step, Harriet forged alliances with fellow abolitionists, including the likes of Frederick Douglass, Thomas Garrett, and Martha Coffin Wright. Together, they formed a formidable network of resistance, extending a lifeline to those ensnared in the clutches of bondage. Though the exact number of lives she emancipated may remain shrouded in ambiguity, the impact of Harriet Tubman's actions reverberates through the annals of history. 
Whether it was 300 or fewer, her unwavering dedication to the cause of freedom is indisputable. With steely determination, she led at least 70 enslaved individuals to the promise of liberty, ensuring that not a single passenger was left behind. In her own words, she never ran her train off the track and she never lost a passenger. Harriet Tubman's legacy is one of unparalleled courage, resilience, and unwavering compassion, a beacon of hope in the darkest of times. Harriet Tubman, The Civil War As the Civil War erupted in 1861, Harriet Tubman's unwavering commitment to the fight against slavery took on new dimensions. Answering the call to serve, she found herself at Fort Monroe, where she played a vital role in assisting fugitive enslaved individuals. Within the walls of the fort, she donned multiple hats, serving as a nurse, cook, and laundress. Drawing upon her knowledge of herbal medicines, she tended to the sick and ailing soldiers and offered solace to those seeking refuge from the horrors of bondage. In 1863, Harriet's indomitable spirit led her to the forefront of the Union Army's espionage and scout network. As the head of this clandestine operation, she proved to be a formidable asset, providing crucial intelligence to Union commanders regarding Confederate supply routes and troop movements. Moreover, her efforts extended beyond mere reconnaissance. She played a pivotal role in liberating enslaved individuals, rallying them to join the ranks of the Black Union regiments. Despite her stature of just over five feet, Harriet Tubman's presence loomed large on the battlefield. However, it wasn't until over three decades later that the government acknowledged her military contributions, belatedly recognizing her heroism and awarding her financial compensation for her service. Harriet Tubman's legacy as a heroine of the Civil War serves as a testament to her courage, resilience, and unwavering dedication to the cause of freedom. Thank you for joining us on this journey through history. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more captivating stories from the past. Until next time, remember, the road to freedom is paved by those brave enough to walk it.